Good evening, social media. Come on. Come on. What's up, man? How y'all doing today? Uh, today hasn't been the, the most pleasant day for me. It just started out bad, you know what I mean? Uh, I had a great weekend. Oh, shit. That's... I had a great, great weekend, man. You know, on um, Father's Day, I celebrated Juneteenth and Father's Day. Yeah, Father's Day, I said it. I celebrated Juneteenth and Father's Day. First, I went to a little Father's Day brunch that my niece had put together. Come on. And we left from there, went home for maybe 10 minutes, and went to a a Juneteenth slash Father's Day celebration. It was live too. It was real live. We had the DJ going on. I meant to make some videos. Well, I had a great weekend. You know what I mean? I did that, and then on Father's Day, I, uh, oh well, yeah, on Saturday, on Saturday I went to a couple Juneteenth uh, celebrations. Uh, right? Yeah. Come on. And then on Sunday. I went to two two Father's Day celebrations. One of them was a Juneteenth celebration slash Father's Day celebration. We had a lot of Juneteenth de decorations, a lot of Father's Day decorations type shit. And then uh, Sunday, on Saturday, I went to the two Juneteenth celebration. Then on Sunday, I went to the <coughs> I, I went to two Father's Day celebrations. One of them was a Father's Day last Juneteenth. Okay, I got that shit out. I don't know what's going on. Why I couldn't get that out. Then on Monday, I went to a, <laughs> another Juneteenth barbecue. And my, my son had a comedy show. <coughs> But maybe if I I don't know, four o'clock this morning, I get a call that my nephew, he's my nephew. Now, he's not my flesh and blood nephew, but he's my nephew. He's my, my, my blood nephew. He's my brother's son's brother. And, you know, he just, even though my brother wasn't with the woman or nothing, it wasn't like he's our nephew because my brother was still with the woman because he wasn't. He didn't help raise the little nigga or nothing because he was always around. Him and my nephew were brothers. Him and my son are real tight. Him and my other nephews are real tight. You know what I mean? The ones that are not his brother. They all call him brother. We all call him nephew. He calls us all uncle. You know what I mean? And I seen him last night. Like I said, my son had a comedy show. My son had a comedy show, man. I go to my son's set. Chilling, kicking it. My nephew come in. His name is Omari. I just call him O. His name is Omari. So O come in. And, uh, they call him something else. He got like some name in the streets. I forget what it is. But I call him O. I, you know, I hadn't seen him in a little while because he had just got out of jail. I guess he went to jail. Oh, it's something petty. He ain't been there for about eight months or something, a year. I don't know. I don't even think he did a year. It was something short. Some short little bit he did. And he got killed last night. And then, you know, I don't, I ain't really did no, no talking to nobody about it and shit because, you know, it's just really sad for me, man. So, I, I, I avoid sad shit. You know, I don't go to funerals very often. You know what I mean? Because I just avoid sad shit. I don't like that shit. So, anyway, uh, I ain't really talking to nobody, but I did talk to my my homeboy who lives across the street from me. And, you know, he's, uh, he lives in my brother's house that my brother home. He ran away in there. So anyway, I was talking to him and he said that one of my nephews, no, he said my son told him his oldest son. Not my son that hang out with, with my little nephew up every day, but my oldest son. So my oldest son told him that he was only shot in his legs. He was shot in his legs the fucking hospital couldn't stop the bleeding and he bled out. That's fucked up. What kind of hospital can't stop the bleeding from a leg wound? That's, that's ridiculous. 
but I don't want to diss him too bad because this the same hospital that held me down. I ain't gonna lie. When my jaw was broke, I went to one hospital. My shit wasn't just broke, my shit was broke. And my gum was cut on the inside, you know, because I was still fighting after my jaw was broke. So my shit was ripped up on the inside too. So I'm spitting out blood, I'm bleeding from the mouth. I went to one hospital, I, I went to Hennepin County. Them motherfuckers gave me a bucket to spit in. They told me it'll be a couple hours. The dude I was sitting next to, I ain't even know him. He like, bro, you should go to a different hospital. Fuck that, sitting in this lobby for two hours. I said, man, you're right, man. Took their bucket with me. Went to a different I went to the hospital, North Memorial, where they couldn't save my nephew. And, uh, to be honest, what they did for me, they didn't. They treated me totally different than the other hospital. Them motherfuckers took me straight. Put me in a room. You know how they, they ask you all your information and shit in that little, when you be sitting at that desk? They didn't do that. They took me, put me in a room with a bed, put me in a bed, got all my information from the bed. You know what I'm saying? Rushed me to surgery in the morning. They was trying to wait for the swelling to go down a little bit. So, but they couldn't save my nephew from some fucking leg wound. So all of that, man, I said all that shit to say we have got to get a hold of our youth, man. They are killing each other like crazy, man. And it's, it, you know, I'm from the streets, man. So, you know, I I lived like that. I, you know, when I was young, I lived like that. So, you know, I be feeling halfway hypocritical when I be trying to talk to them. But they know that I'm, I'm, I'm from that. You feel me? But this shit is bad. This shit is bad, like, I just feel so bad, man. I feel so bad for my nephew that I killed. I feel even worse for his little brother, who is my actual nephew. Imagine how he's living with that, man. You know what I mean? If during, during the heavy war, they had already told my nephew, you know, on the holiday, I don't know, sure, sure, sure. They had already told my nephew that, uh, he had just had a baby and shit. They told this nigga, like, hug it tight, kiss it tight. You, you gonna live to see it. You gotta take risky life. Ain't that what they say? Yeah, but goddamn, I'm gonna go. Come on. Come on. Alright, let's go. But yeah, man, we gotta get a hold of our youth. We gotta figure this shit out, y'all, because this, this shit ain't right, man. The way they do this shit. Switches and the drugs. I think it's the drugs they use. Now we was killing when I was young. I ain't gonna say we as a me. I'm talking about we as in my um, generation. But I don't think it was as bad. Well, that's all I gotta say, man. We gotta get a hold of our youth, man. We gotta figure something out because we're losing them. We're losing them, man. We're losing them rapidly, man. Family just got struck by it, man. You know, I know his mama is just like fucking heart broke. You know what I mean? Like my son, my youngest son, man. Him and my youngest son are road dogs, man. So I know my son is like. And then what I'm gonna do to keep my son out of that shit, man? He not no punkin, now he far from the thing. You know what I mean? So I'm worried about him. Trying to put his work bag down and pick up a pistol. 